Our local leaders are also preparing for the big game tomorrow with COVID in mind. They say that they're worried those big Super Bowl crowds could lead to a super spreader event. So that's why they're sending out strike teams in downtown Orlando, where New Six's Jerry Askin is live tonight. Jerry, we've heard from the county, but you talked to bars and restaurants about their plans to keep everybody safe. Eric, you know, yes, we spoke with many downtown area restaurant and bar owners who told me they welcome the business for tomorrow's big game, but they also understand it's a balance, you know, welcoming more business tomorrow, but also enforcing the COVID-19 restrictions. Ahead of Sunday's Super Bowl game, many bars and restaurants across Central Florida are getting ready for fans who may be out cheering on their favorite team. I feel like it's going to be a Florida team. It's going to be a little bit more busier. Bartender Taylor Michaelak here at Harry Buffalo in downtown Orlando told me after a slower 2020, Sunday's crowd could bring more business, but they're also focused on safety, including limiting capacity. We have these screens on here for our menus. We have hand sanitizer on, on the tables. All of everyone will be wearing a mask. Social distancing as well, following the guidelines as this well. This coming as Orange County leaders said strike teams will be out all weekend unannounced to make sure businesses are enforcing the COVID-19 restrictions. Mayor Jerry Deming said just last weekend four bars were cited for not complying. Patrons were not wearing masks and there was no social distancing. And back here at Harry Buffalo. Yeah, so we'll for sure follow all the guidelines and everything that we need to do. Yeah, Orange County leader saying it's important to note that most of these businesses have been complying, but of course those who don't can be fined, you know, of course, financially. We're live here in downtown Orlando, Orange County. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.